Today at Free Comic Book Day, I pick up a few other books besides the Free Comic Books, including Sinestro Annual Number One. Now, this is a an, a series of five origin stories for the different Yellow Lanterns. The first one is Becca. Now, Becca is a new god from New Genesis, and so she's good, but she's with the Yellow Lanterns, which I found kind of interesting. I kind of find her character to be confusing altogether because she her power is to inspire a desire for love in others. However, she's a yellow lantern, so it's, that she inspires fear in others. And I, I don't... Um, maybe I missed it where they explain this. But I find it kind of confusing. And... But, but I find her very interesting. And her story of High Father turning this ability of hers into a weapon of war was compelling. And the next one is Lisa Drax. And this one is very cool. Very cool. The way she got her, her supernatural powers is by eating the pages of a spell book of many spell books, very dark occult books, when she was trapped in a room with them. And that was very interesting. It changed her magically. Um, I wish I thought of that. That's that's very clever. I, I imagine that at least Drax's origin has been said before. I wasn't really familiar with that character. So this is definitely the kind of comic that raises your interest level, that makes you intrigued. Arkillo had a very interesting origin. His people worshipped a god, of a duality god, of brutality and peace. And they only worshipped the peace aspect. And Arkillo decided that was blasphemous. And he actually started with... He actually uh, slaughtered everyone at his uh, anointment. <laughs> that was very surprising. Um... I never really took him as kind of a faithful guy. Again, I, I imagine that must have been spelled out earlier, but that is very clever writing. The next up is is uh, Rigan Kale. I didn't find this one too interesting. He loses his love to um, these insects that can make wormholes. And I thought this was kind of a obvious type of thing. Why not make the insects that make wormholes actually worms that that would be maybe i'm just corny as hell but that's what i would have done so there's these kind of space beetles her ring imprints from her, uh, itself into the, you know it shards into his skin and his as well actually giving him two light rings making him very powerful and whenever her ring tries to claim a new host. He kills that person, so that <coughs> so that the last piece of her will stay with him. Now, Des Trevius is interesting. He is very uh, much a usurper, very uh, disobedient. And they show his origin, where he actually um, had a relationship with another man in kind of a feudal Japan-type world. And there, he was so upset when his lover uh, spurned him in favor of a more socially approved. Socially approved because he was uh, a noble and the Yellow Lantern, before he was the Yellow Lantern, was... A serf, and uh, the, the new woman that uh, he was married to was a noble, spurned him for the sake of his own nobility. And so he slaughtered all of these, these samurai type characters, these space samurai. And now Sinestro explains why he tolerates his usurping nature, his questioning, his probing, is that. His probing served Sinestro, which is an interesting idea that 
I've seen this idea done a couple times, and this is, you know, one of the better times it's been done, where the usurpers are actually part of the system, that they test for the weaknesses, and um, they're, they're not actually against the system, they're part of the system. Overall, uh, artwork is excellent, writing is intriguing, the mini stories don't feel too short. I would like to see some more detail, as I said, about how exactly they came to get their rings, etc. What exactly are Lisa Drax's powers? I know she has prophecy, but how dangerous is she without her yellow ring? That's a question that I don't think really gets answered. So, very good book. If you are interested in the Green Lanterns, if you like Cosmic Adventure, if you like these little kind of fall from graces that we see here. Check this out. It's it's worth a look. Very good. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other projects. Thank you.